Finally, we have the uh, inorganic and organic components of uh, the water extraction technique. Now this is really useful and it's something that we uh, use with growers and you don't really get this on any other test. It provides the organic nitrogen extracted by water, which you can see here is uh, almost 40 milligrams per kilogram. And now this is one of the really interesting things about the honey soil test is that it includes and considers the organic end component of um, of the nitrogen or total nitrogen pool. Inorganic makes up 1.2.1 uh, uh, milligrams per kilogram, whereas our organic end makes up almost 40 milligrams per kilogram. That's that's a lot. That works out to be I think it's around about 50 kilograms of uh, straight nitrogen per hectare that you don't need to apply. So if you weren't using a Haney soil test and you were just going off the inorganic nitrogen, you, you wouldn't be considering basically 50% of the available nitrogen you have to your soil. So if you wanna see a really good study on this, there's one called uh, Initial Field Evaluation of the Agroeconomic Effect of Determining Nitrogen Fertilizer Rates with a recently developed soil test methodology, which is the Haney soil test. And so pretty much what they found is that across I think it was oats, sorghum, corn, and wheat. When considering the organic nitrogen component, you can pretty much reduce your fertilizer applications by 30 to 50% with no significant difference in uh, yield reduction. 